Almighty and merciful God, we gather here today to remember and honor the valiant men and women who have served you in this community so faithfully over the years. We ask you to gather to yourself those policemen and firefighters who have died in your service. We remember them in a special way and recall the good work they have done. May they have the reward of their labors and be blessed with happiness and peace. Comfort those who mourn their loss and protect their brothers and sisters still serving our city from all danger and harm. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Good morning and welcome to the 2020 virtual memorial ceremony for the Waterbury Police and Fire Departments. My name is Captain Stephen Narika, and we're going to start our ceremony. I'd like to welcome to the podium Police Chief Fernando Spagnolo Jr. Police Chief. Thank you, Captain. Good morning, everyone. It was really important for us to gather today at this police and firefighter memorial to pay tribute to those who have fallen before us. Later on this week, in the latter part of last week, firefighters and police officers around the country were recognized for their brave service and their sacrifice to their communities around this great nation. This is a little different than uh, any of us are really used to. Normally, we're here on a nice warm May day, collected all together, reflecting on the good quality work and the sacrifices that have been made for this city by the police officers and firefighters that work here each and every day to protect us all. I'd like you all to take a moment and just reflect on the names that are here on this memorial and the names that you will heard read at a later portion of this program. And I hope at some point during this year, we all have the opportunity to join here on this site to pay a tribute in person to the men and women that have gone before us. Thank you. I'd now like to welcome to the podium Fire Chief Terrence Ballou. Chief, Captain. Good morning. It's certainly my honor to be here to recognize the members of the police department and fire department who have given their lives in their course of duty uh, in careers past. Uh, the whole purpose of the fire department and the police department is to protect the citizens of Waterbury. The Waterbury Police Department's logo is to protect and serve. The firefighter's mission is to protect from the ravages of fire and explosion. These 22 names on the police side and the 31 names on the fire side have lived up to that incredible task and, and, and given the ultimate sacrifice for this wonderful city. I would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to the families of all these wonderful firefighters and police officers and keep them in our prayers and our hearts going forward. Uh, we certainly hope that in these pandemic crisis times that uh, we never forget the sacrifices made by both the members and the families. And I thank you for having the opportunity to, to address you. Thank you, Chief. Hi. My name is Mayor Neil O'Leary here in the city of Waterbury. As a career police officer and the son of a Waterbury firefighter, I'm honored to take this moment to recognize our police officers and firefighters who serve us. In these unprecedented times of pandemic COVID-19, it's more important than ever that the residents and citizens of this community in our state and country recognize and commend the commitment of our first responders, police officers, and firefighters. You know, very often we take our police officers and firefighters for granted because they're there for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Very often we never realize that they are the husband or wife of someone. Very often we recognize that they are the child of, uh, uh, with parents and grandparents. And most importantly, they have children of their own. And it's amazing to me the commitment that is shown by the Waterbury police officers and firefighters 
365 days a year, seven days a week. So we take a moment during this time to make honor to them and tribute to them and their families for the sacrifices that they've shown and the commitment they've shown to the city of Waterbury, particularly during this pandemic time that we're in now. And most importantly, of course, we must recognize those who have fallen before us, particularly those who have died in the line of duty and given their lives to protect the citizens of this great city of Waterbury. So thank you very much for your time and God bless you all. And now for the reading of the roll call. Firefighter William Squires. Firefighter Pasquale Cross. Firefighter John O'Reilly. Firefighter Morris Fitzgerald. Firefighter Francis Hosey. Firefighter Elmer Johnson. Firefighter Terrence Dehaney. Fire Chief Henry Heitman. Firefighter John O'Leary. Firefighter John Reagan. Firefighter Morris Clark. Firefighter James Quinn. Fire Lieutenant Charles Hassel. Firefighter Eugene Reidner. Firefighter Robert Yarrington. Deputy Fire Chief James Delaney. Drillmaster William Murray. Deputy Chief Thomas Reedy. Firefighter James Gilland. Captain John Goggins. Firefighter George Brown. Firefighter Carlton Johnston. Firefighter Richard Valillo. Firefighter Howard Hughes. Firefighter Humberto Rivera. Deputy Chief Michael Griffin. Firefighter Jamie Quinones. Captain John Keane. Lieutenant Bruce Pachinski. Firefighter John Parker. Firefighter John Mitchell. And now for the roll call for members who have passed during the past year. Firefighter Frank Muccino. Firefighter William Ryan. Firefighter Russ Roselli. Firefighter Mark Fain. Firefighter Chris Dundas. Firefighter Edgar Purdy. Firefighter Kenneth Goggins. Firefighter Morton Mansfield. Firefighter Sal Salvatore Ferracci. Firefighter James Rosani. Firefighter Joseph Petticini. Firefighter Ernest Orlet. Firefighter John Strang. And Firefighter Donald Greeny. Members of the Waterbury Police Department who have died in the line of duty. Officer Paul Mendelson. <laughs> Officer Daniel J. Lane. <laughs> Officer John F. Donahue. <laughs> Officer Walter J. Stokes. <laughs> Officer Matthew McNally. <laughs> Officer John Paul Mateer. <laughs> Officer Frank D. Romano. <laughs> Officer Leonard Lamana. Officer Walter T. Williams. <laughs> Officer Bruce Hanley. <laughs> Flagler County Deputy Sheriff and former Waterbury Police Officer Charles Chuck Cease. 
retired members who have passed during this past year. Former Sergeant Charles Skip Shepard. <laughs> retired Officer Israel Segara. <laughs> retired Sergeant Charles Chuck Musino. <laughs> Former Officer Leonard F. D'Amico. And now for Amazing Grace. Detail, attention, present, arms. Order, arms. I'd like to thank everybody for viewing today's virtual memorial ceremony on today's date, May 13th, year 2020. Thank you. Heavenly Father, as we have gathered here today to remember our policemen and firefighters who have died, we ask you to bless them with the light of your face, that they may live forever in your presence. We ask you to bless those who still serve, that these men and women may be safe and continue to serve you in this community by protecting their brothers and sisters from harm. We ask you to watch over our city, keep us always in your care, help us to be good stewards of your creation by caring for the world you give us. We ask this in your holy name. Amen.